Hey guys, this is Chris of Forley Photo, and I'm here with Austin from Texas Tech Review. He's decided to join us yes, here for this review of the Kindle Fire, the Nook tablet, and, and the, comparing to the, and the iPad, iPad too. too. I was about to say. Yep, can't leave, can't, can't leave out the iPad. It's a big contender. So what are we doing here? We are um, taking a look at these three tablets here as, as displayed. Now, um, I think Chris is going to take over the specs on each real quick before we get started. Yeah, we'll talk about the specs real quick, and we'll go ahead and power these up. That way you can just go and kind of see I'm something on the screen. here in a second. You should yeah. notice the lock screen right away. You can see this is a typical, uh, not, I mean, some people know, but Android is, you can see the, the Android lock on this one more than anything. Mm -hmm. um, definitely like, because obviously, you know, iOS is simple for that one. And then you can right away notice that there's different interfaces as the dash. Um, so to say, yeah, and we'll I get guess in, you could cover that as a dash. Yeah, and we'll, and we'll get into that. Let's just talk about specs real quick. Yes, sir. And spec-wise, you know, you know we're, we're looking at three totally different devices here as far as specs are concerned. So let's just go from left to right uh, as you're looking at the overhead camera here. So uh, looking at the Barnes & Noble uh, Nook tablet here, um, it obviously 7-inch display, same as the uh, Kindle Fire. And, you know, 7-inch display, I mean, totally, I mean, completely different size than the iPad. I mean, oh, yeah. you're looking at half the screen real estate uh, when you're comparing it to the iPad, but I really don't want to, you know, concentrate on comparing to the iPad because obviously, it, you know, these not, are not going to compare to the iPad. So, 7-inch IPS display, um, great displays, okay? Uh, the uh, the Nook, uh, in particular, has a much better display. It's non-reflective. Um, if you really want to read out outdoors, uh, so the, Kindle, the, the Nook tablet is the way to go, ha ha hands down. So colored wise, so the e the e ink Kindle, that it, was what it was known for. Now are you saying that's better than this one? Then you and your no, testing. No, but no, we're not. Saying, but we're not. And, and I'm talking about for reading in the daylight. And that's that was the key for the e ink right, Kindles. Right. Right. So I'm saying is. Oh, I'm not taking. you're saying. I'm right? not taking into account the e ink displays at this point. Okay. No, no, I'm so I'm, I'm just comparing a, these three well, units right, to one another. Right. I'm saying so as a color display. That's the one for the e ink Kindle. If you're a real serious person that reads in the day, exactly. That's what the Kindle was known for. Yes. And now this is it. Won't get into that next. Right. Right. Exactly. So, um, with the Barnes and Noble Nook right here, you've got a seven inch display. You've also got one gig of RAM, and you've got a dual core Snapdragon processor. Uh, so, comparing that to that of the Nook tablet, the I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, the Kindle here uh, that. Austin had in his hand. Yes. We've got 512 gigs of RAM right here with this unit. And, and the responsiveness is evident when you're comparing one to the next as far as you know opening opening applications or watching video or um, or even even reading for that matter. Um, so you know RAM is a different is is a big time difference between the two. Uh, another differentiating uh, factor here the with these two. Uh, well, I'll get in, get into that in just a second. <clears throat> is the 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 onboard memory uh, the Nook. Um, sorry, not the Nook. The uh, Barnes and Noble uh, tablet here is, you know, has ample amount of uh, storage space. It has 16 gigs of onboard storage. Wow. Now that's kind of deceiving when you when you look at it like that because, get this, you know, 16 gigs. Hold on, 16 gigs. Versus, whoa! whoa. All right, <laughs> there's, All right. A, there's a flick flub for you. <laughs> 16 gigs right here. Okay, with the with the with the Nook, and eight, eight. Okay, really? on the no uh, SD. Well, we're getting there. Okay. All right. So he's he's always a step ahead. <clears throat> oh, I try to be, you know. All right. So sixteen gigs. Now get this though. You think sixteen gigs? My God, I can put so much content on here. But get this, you only have access to one gig of the storage Ooh. space on this device. Barnes jailbreak. and Noble. Uh, it doesn't even work with jailbreak. Barnes and Noble has locked down the storage on this unit. So you only have access to one gig. So if you want to put videos and music and, uh, and, and books on here, you only have access to one gig. One gig. That's ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You can't so, even root it. So um, you, can't, you could root it, but... I'm saying, but can that unlock it? Because I, I mean, that's what people no, have done. No, it will, not, it will not unlock the storage. <sighs> so Barnes you have, Barnes. exactly, you have a limited uh, amount of space for your user content. You that's know, if you're buying from Barnes & Noble, great. You know, you could just put a tons of con a ton of content on here. Now, on board though, well, a is, gigabyte is a plenty. Is but if you start putting video, if you have now, kids, now that's different. If you have kids but and you want to put, is for. that's true. But if you're I mean, like me, if you're a dad like me that has an ample amount of DVDs, 
and you're wanting to rip everything and put it onto a device. No, that's you know, true. that's where this Netflix doesn't have everything. You know, yeah, I hate to tell you. They do have kids though. All right, one more but thing I want to point out here. Comes one in. more thing I want to point out here, and you're not going to be able to see this very well on the on the camera above. But the tablet here, the Barnes and Noble Nook, also has uh, the ability to, uh, you know, a, a increase your storage. You have the nice. the ability to put a micro SD card on your Nook at up to 32 gigs. Mm -hmm. So when you think about that, oh yeah, you've got 33 gigs of, st of space that so you can put whatever you want uh, onto this tablet. So that is the way around it. Then. That is the way now around about, it. What about this guy? What now about this the, guy the, right the here. Hottest, the hottest tablet over the holidays. The season. hottest tablet over the holidays. Bar uh, uh, sorry, I'm like getting my get my words all mixed up here, but I right. uh, feel like we're in a race or something. Like we got to get this done. It's we me. we have no limit. It's He's me. rubbing off on me. It happens. This guy over here is just high octane, you know, Woo! full board, just blasting through this stuff. I'm He's been so excited to do to do this with me that you know he's rubbing off on me. What can I say? It happens. Uh, the it Kindle happens. Fire, the Kindle Fire. It is a fire. The number one selling tablet. Well, aside from the iPad, well, of course. Well, no, it is in the holiday season. Because it came out in November. True. We're just going to call it the number one tablet of this, the holidays. Very true. Very we're true. just leave it at that. That's Very true. We're not going to get into this guy next. We'll get into our, our Apple. So when next. we're looking at the Nook Fire. The Nook Fire. What am I getting at? I tell you, man. It the, gets you confused. Yeah, the Kindle Fire here. Uh, eight gigs. Eight gigs of onboard storage. Seven inches. Seven inches. I like the interesting backing, if you want to just play that. <clears throat> kind of has a... Um, Rubbery feel. Has a rubbery feel. But I, I, I still like my metallic iPad feel. You know what I mean? This mm -hmm. has an Invisi shield on, but something about like the, like a couple of these phones, like I think it's the Transformer mm -hmm. Devin has. It feels really nice as a backing. Right. This kind of does, but that, mm -mm. I wouldn't want to You like that. this? I don't you like don't. it. You I don't. don't like you don't rubber. like it. Okay. I don't like the rubber. Cause I, or, cause you want to get that static feel. Right. I'm feeling that. Yeah. You're feeling well, that. You know if, what I'm talking about? Yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna I'm, compare see, one on, to the next, um, if we're gonna oh, compare yeah. the look, see this one is not too bad. You're not. I mean, you're feeling a little. You know what I'm talking about? When you get that little staticky mm -hmm. in your hands. I'm. It's meant to just be me, but yeah. That comes down to it. Let, let me give you a little bit of background real quick. <clears throat> this works. Yeah. This would with, work. Without Austin Go interrupting ahead. me. Sorry. For Sorry. one second. Um, I pre-ordered. Uh, the Kindle Fire, the day that the, that it was available. What was that? Back in October? Uh, it was like October middle, 28th. October 20th. There you go. And they released on November 14th. So I got mine in the mail on November 14th. One of my so, friends as well, Christo, he does, he's part of our team. He uh, did the same thing. He took, he bought the bullet and got it. No. Without he's even having, we're, without we're even having Amazon hands guys. on, but with it before, I went ahead and just purchased it. Um, I had reason to do so. Uh, because I wanted to do this video, and your but wife I've is awesome. but I've also fell in love with it, you know. But then I started thinking about it, you know. I started looking at it, I was like, well, if I really want to figure out which smaller tablet it is that I want to keep, which one is really going to work for me, um, I thought, you know, I've got to at least explore what the Nook tablet is going to do for me. So <clears throat> I went to the store. This is prior to uh, Christmas, and bought the Nook tablet in a in an effort to really figure out which one was going to work for me as far as far as a uh, small seven inch uh, display. Uh, book reader and you know holding this in the store when you pick it up you think oh yeah this is gonna be great H holding it in your hand it's not gonna slip well, out of your hand it's actually not that bad on this yeah I'll get to that I in mean, just no, a second Kindle is a different store hold on a second I'll get there sorry <clears throat> but when I hold this in my hand when I hold this Nook tablet in my hand in the store or if I'm just sitting here like this and just reading it you know if I were in Barnes and Noble and I'm surfing through all their books that they let you you know surf through and some uh, which free. is a ton of them you but you can go to the store you can go to Barnes and Noble and just mm -hmm. look at, you know, over what is it, 10,000 books that you can Pretty read sure. on the spot. They only allow you or they limit you one hour of reading, which is kind of a pain in the butt. If you're a really hardcore reader, you can just go up and get the book yourself and then, you know, go down and get a coffee and sit down. But if you're holding this in your hand like this with one hand, like this and just reading, this is great. Okay? This is a great e reader um, and, and it's very easy to hold in your hand. Same now, here. same with that one, but this is the catch. If you're a person that sits in bed at night and you're reading, mm -hmm. and you're just lounge back on your pillow, okay, you know, just barely propping your head up, and you're and back. you're wanting and you're wanting to keep this in your hand, this is going to slip out of your hand way more than the Kindle Fire. The Kindle Fire, for some reason, it's just easier to handhold with one hand. What I do is I just, and you can kind of see that for what I'm doing right here, I just kind of hold it like this, pinky finger out, 
kind of prop it up like this and I don't even have to hold it on the pillow. I just hold it like this. But trying to do that with the Nook tablet is, is another story. It's heavier it's or good. it's it's not really heavier, it's but it feels heavier. It's a different design. It's a different and design. There's that little keychain. Yeah, and, and to me, look. I mean, what's the point in that? I'm not gonna use that. I use it. Thank but you. physically, looking at the physical dimensions uh, of the two, uh, the, the, the Nook tablet is, you know, physically larger. You know, it's got a little bit of extra space down I here at the it's base. The design it, it to, it's totally the design choice. Now, to be honest, the Kindle Fire, and I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, and I will say it. I've always, when I first saw it, I thought right away when I thought about the playbook. This is the playbook knockoff. Oh, uh, totally. Not no. Just, I mean, you look at it. Yeah. I mean, they must have the same person. They might yeah. as well. I mean, it, now of course you know with the playbook, there's the power and all that, and there's mm. an HDMI out on this side. But I mean, with the power button, look very familiar. Right. All that stuff in the same spot. It would right. have been right here. Right. And you know the speakers, of course. But of course, no cameras. No cameras. That's the key. Mm -hmm. But there's a sensor here, which I thought at first mm -hmm. was a camera, but. The same time i thought this is a playbook for you've me. done mucked up my screen there i tell you man my fingers i don't know what's safe about it you should have washed your hands before we i did do this. i, I did to clean it again jeez gosh trying to just put me on the johnny on the spot over here we got behind the camera start calling this guy a baby over here hey i am yeah. technically the baby that's, that's what my that's what my that's what my daughter does she mucks up my screen you know? i don't try to sorry sir all right so let's look at the exterior uh, a little bit more here all right so one thing that the Nook tablet has going for it is the external controls. You've got a power button over here on the left. All right, so if you're looking at it, bird's eye view, look over here on the left, there's the power button. As compared to the Kindle Fire, I'm gonna steal it here from, from my friend it. Austin here, who's over working here just playing it. around with it. Now the button is right down here at the base, okay? That's very, like. very easy to hit that, you know, when you don't want to, when you can just inadvertently hit it just by punching the table. Look at that, it turned it off. Yep. Just by that. doing that. If you're in bed, and you bump your hand against it, uh, you're going to turn it off right away and you have to swipe it, go back, it's a pain in the butt. Whereas on the Nook tablet, the button is right here uh, on the upper left, very good placement for the power button. Uh, another thing here is the fact that the headphone jack is also on the top. Headphone jack on the, the Kindle Fire is where? On the bottom. Like right down there, touch. right down there. Like on an the, iPod touch. Yep, right down there on the bottom, right next to the power button. So another thing going against the Kindle Fire. Also, you've got external volume control, all right? Now, external volume, volume control this? right this here control? is on the right-hand side of the Nook tablet. So up and down, there we go. Now, now if you wanna change, if you wanna change the volume on, on, on the, on the Kindle Fire, how would you do that? I'm guessing it's a settings, press the settings button. It's know. on It's on the user interface. So, I mean, there's no button on the this exterior of the device. That's how the playbook is. Too. Okay, so you've got to hit, you got to hit that one little, that one little spot it, on the upper right hand corner. Exactly. So you've got to go to brightness. <clears throat> there it is right there. Change volume. the volume right there. And then you have to adjust the volume with that slider. Now, in this review, we will be doing video testing too. We're going to do a video across the board. Obviously, the iPad is kind of the out, the elephant, the big brother of the three. Mm -hmm. So we can't really do much on that one. Because, no. I mean, we could talk about it. Let's talk about that, actually. So let's bring the, the, the king, we call it, of tablets. Now, I do say this as being the king because, as Apple does, and we're kind of a little, I'm, I'm not as much fanboy as you. You're, you are the Mac fanboy. Let's be honest. We're, got an Apple guy right here. Hey, if I had a penny for every Mac that, 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 that I've influenced as far as sales, Hey. Um, you know, I'd be a rich man. Me too. Uh, so we've got now, Johnny back here behind. Johnny, say hi to the to the, the GoPro cam up there. There's Johnny. We got a little so we Johnny got a little is uh, uh, one of, was one of my students this past semester. You know, we're uh, we're friends now and and uh, plan to do a lot of stuff uh, together in the future, uh, video can you know video wise. But uh, Johnny's a good good character here. Yeah, you know, he's helped us many times at uh, at our photo shoots. Um, working the, the face booth and all that. So I, I think he had a pretty good time doing that. Uh, good learning experience. But where I was getting at is, where was I going with that? What's about the Apple guy? Oh, yeah. Guy. So Johnny here is in the market for a, for a Mac. Oh, I am too. And of course, you know, taking my intro to digital media class, he got well informed on what the Mac is all about and how and what benefits that he's going to um, experience on the Mac platform as compared to getting a Windows PC. So uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had a student uh, go out and buy a Mac after going through two classes of mine in my intro to uh, digital media class. But, uh, but anyway. here's to mention real quick before we're on education. 
don't forget, you can save at least $100. Oh, yeah, Starbucks promo. Uh, on education, though, there's a little ad break here. You can get on the app. Since we're on the Thanks, Apple. Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, he got his coffee today. Um, but listen, and one thing to mention is on the education discount, that's the key. Oh, yeah. I think if people don't know, I mean, I tell people if they're going to go Apple, for sure, go online. Because at the store, you can't get that price. Right. I'm talking about MacBook Pro 13 is a hundred, a thousand nine nine instead of a hundred and a thousand one hundred ninety nine. Right, save you a hundred bucks. Yep. The get the bit. Same for me. Go, I'm a, same for me. Hey, I'm an you educator. Get the Fifteen inch. Now the fifteen inch, depending on the processor, you can get uh, at least six to eight hundred mm -hmm. off. Right. So two thousand. No, are we, are we're we talking, talking about, about Max here? Or are we talking, talking about, about uh, tablets? We're talking about Max for a second. It's a little no, break. No. Education break. Okay. But now we're back on topic. So the the king. Since two years ago, in 2010, this is technically the anniversary, uh, two-year anniversary of the iPad being announced and the iPhone. So, you know, Jobs, rest in peace, of course. Got to do a little note on that. We, you know, it's one of those things. But as always, and kind of always happens, um, Apple, or should I say Steve, depending on how you want to look at it, because Steve does kind of take the credit, but the real people like Johnny Ives and everybody, you know, I don't know. But anyways, so... Once this was announced, like the iPhone, which really did revolutionize. Oh, his is naked, so he's better. But as you know, both both of these devices right here. Happy birthday, iPhone, as of yesterday. Yes, sir. Happy announcement, birthday. And of course, happy announcement to the iPad. But the key was that is, today? Yeah, or something like that. It was maybe, January. I can't remember what the day was. I thought it was the eleventh. Anyways, point is. No, it was twentieth. That's what it was. Anyways, anyway, point is, I know why myself. Why don't we just break off on these tangents? I don't, I don't get it. Anyways, so as I tangent more, this right here. As always, knocks off. They're gonna see not knocks off, I should say, but revolutionizes a um, a market. For example, in the phone, in the pa in the tablet, and, and even in the laptops. Especially, um, we saw an, we saw this um, Spectre. There's a new HP thing. It looks like a Pro. I'm serious, knockoff. And of course, there's the Ultra Books and Intel. Total MacBook Air knockoff. I mean, and, uh, come on. The thing about it is, a lot of them are not. They don't. They're not even that discreet. They're like really keep KRF, keeping it real fake. I mean, I'm talking like some. Yep. Especially uh, Samsung. Is a, is a, one comes to name. One comes to name. Don't even uh, get me sorry with Samsung. We'll get into that next. Yeah. But now, mm -hmm. as I was saying, um, now this one, ever since it came in, you got the Kindle. Now this, this is the best. In the seven-inch market, uh, reason why I'm saying this is because, as always, Amazon. Because they're Amazon and Kindles, and everybody uses, you know, Wi-Fi. They not, well, not, not, not Wi-Fi. Sorry, um, tablets for reading, e-books. Kindle is the number one still to this day. Mm -hmm. They are the king. But as you saw the commercial last year with the ink, of course, you know they took on, they took, out, you know, Kindle shot at the Apple. Yeah, it's a funny commercial. Yep. But anyways, hot so, babe sitting out at the yeah, uh, at the pool Kindle, with her ink. I told pool, you, poor poor and nerd then, sitting there with his iPad. You well, know, you know what though? How can you read in this? I sunlight? think I think there's, we should redo the commercial, make a little parody. Yeah, Have your nook out there. I'll be with my you. I'll be with my kid. I'll, we'll, we'll get a girl with her. Uh, we'll get with her nook and be like, ha ha, you can't. <laughs> kind of thing. I mean, that's like we'll do that. We'll do that. that's a good idea. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do that. Point. Don't take it. I'm watching y'all on YouTube. But anyway, this is back to what I was saying. So this is the best um, alternative. In his opinion. No, no, in, in everybody's opinion. This <clears> is the best. As far as sales. As far as, no, not even sales. This Once this was announced, everybody was like, that's it. Because this is the alternative. But why? But why? Why? Because there's no one has been able to take down the beast. Why the has this become so popular? I will give you reasons why. First Tell me of all, one reason. The number one reason. First of all, the number one reason is size. No. Nope. Listen. No. 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 The number one I'll... reason is price. Yeah, that's all I get to. Okay. Size and price. Okay. Because size, for one, the real estate. Everybody loves it. You don't think you would love it, but when you do. But some people, not like uh, the, the late great Jobs, seven inches is not where it's at. Now, there's been rumors, of course, with the iPad 7 and it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm going to make sure we know this. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. Now, oh, yes? Not going to happen. Okay. So, as I was saying, the main thing I noticed about this tablet while messing with it last night at Best Buy and uh, today, one thing is, right away, cover flow. This is cover flow. Mm -hmm. Totally. And this is, and this is, can't, this is running on what, gingerbread? 
Yep. Or is it Froyo? It's gingerbread. So we got both tablets for an Android background uh, or under the, and whatever you want to call it, under the hood. And then, you know, of course, Amazon and Nook put their, Barnes & Noble put their little little feel to it. So now as you see Chris over there messing with his Nook, um, you can see right away it has the same apps. Both these devices, Kindle and the Nook tablet. And, of course, we got the iPad with it. I know I'm kind of going all over the place. So you mm-hmm. got to kind of keep up because that's how I go sometimes. <laughs> Again, these little modes. But as you can see here, he's uh, messing around there and getting on the Wi-Fi, of course. So we'll get back to that in a second. Um, now, with the Kindle, being why is the size and price, right? And the thing about it is my aunt got my, 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 uh, my cousin one because they could use readers in class. And she's about... Eighth grade, nice. So, eighth grade. Imagine eighth that grade. eighth grade Jersey, with a device yeah, they, like this. They need e-readers. Like now, you know, people are requiring like a UT Tyler. I think uh, one of my friends is there. Shout out to John. But you you have to have an iPad for class. Mm-hmm. It's a requirement. Wow. And that's how Duke is. A lot of these people. Apple and education has always been the yeah. win-win. Right. I mean, I was in elementary school and they had the old Macs. Um, Probably Macintoshes. Oh, we played Oregon Trail on those things. Oh, those are the days. Oregon Trail. I think I saw saw some older Macs when I was in school. Oh yeah, you would have. What are we? What are we? Apple II. Yeah, we're about thirteen years apart. So I was starting. <sighs> I was ending school when he was starting school. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's the whirlwind for you. So that's why we can talk about this. So now I was saying the Kindle. You gonna wrap this up? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Kindle and Apple. The thing is with Apple, obviously. They, they revolutionize them. No one's been able to get to. Because at CES let me, last let me, year... Let me put it a different way. Okay, go first. If we had never seen this, if Apple had never brought the iPad or a tablet to the market, would we see this today? Or this. Would we see that today? Absolutely not. And so I think key. that's the point he's trying now, to get at. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm not trying to completely Appleize this, but sometimes in, in technology, especially and just in life, you got to recognize where recognize is, is needed. And, you know, this is a do that Apple does not. I mean, obviously, everybody, you love them or hate them. There's plenty of people that love them, but there's a lot of people that hate them. And the only thing you can say is, without this, and I know we're going to go into the whole Steve Jobs closed wall garden and all that stuff, but the main thing is we wouldn't have this today if this wasn't there. And no one's been able to compete to this. So at last year's CES, not, we saw like what was, we saw some horrible tablets before the Zoom. Remember those tablets that came out, the Galaxy Tab 7? Yep. Dude, there were so many tablets out that fall in November 2010. As you see, we're going to have some videos to copyright there. No, we're not going to get kicked off of YouTube. All right, cool. But anyway, so you got like a little here and there's. And it's, it's kind of one of those things where I was like, wow, can't believe it. Now, this device... Uh, still, every time it comes, you're going to see Chris going to show the comparison on it. Of course, we got the Steve Jobs book on there. Oh, you got the smart cover working on. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, I really so do enjoy some kind it. Of magnet. There you go. Look how the difference on that one. But this is the best, I think, in size. The way the design on this is very apple in a sense. But the mm-hmm. playbook, I thought this I thought this was a playbook at first. Now, there, there are many that have compared you know, this, obviously, to the iPad. Um, but there have been a few that have said this is a nice counterpart to yeah, the iPad. Yeah, it's an alternative. That's it's an al- said. Well, it, there's a lot That's of people that would say, you know, it's nice to have both. You know, you've got a smaller device here you can take on the go. You can actually even put it in your pocket. Yeah. You've got your iPad for, you know, really, you know, work work. Intensive. If you really want to get work done, you can do that it's with your a iPad. It's more productive. <clears throat> a lot more productive. Um, I can't tell you there's how many times I've apps. been thinking... Apps been, is the key. I can't tell you how many times I've been thinking, you know, oh, well, you know, I'm going to go on Twitter or, you know, I want to, uh, you know, check out this latest news story. Well, you know, I use Flipboard. You know, we both oh, use Flipboard. Flipboard. Key. Flipboard is on my iPad. It's on my iPhone, but it's not on the Kindle Fire. It's not on the Nook. As so, here. I love it. If I really want to go through news and, and, and look at what's happening That's you what know, in the day, too. you know, this is what I'm going to do. But, you know, there That's aren't a lot of news alternatives on these uh, smaller Pulse devices. We've got other. Pulse and we've got a couple of other uh, apps no. on here. But Pulse is the closest thing for it, Android. And, 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 and there's there an app. There is no. <clears throat> right. Pulse it, is the, the thing. And there's an app you know, called Easy RSS, but it's just going to basically suck in your... Kind of like what Ford does. Yeah, That's it's just, exactly what it does, it's, actually. Yeah, but it, it's just very streamlined. It's just going to suck in... Um, uh, your RSS from 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 Google, and it's just it's not as pleasing to the eye. Now, so, that's, that's the thing about Apple, though, because Apple gives you now. Of course, with 
what well, should I say with the iPad? The the what the things people have been able to do, which is why the iPad is still untouchable. I, I'm not saying untouchable. I should rephrase that because they got the Kindle Fire here. You can see the size matchup on these two devices. Um, but the main thing is, is that you got to remember too, Chris, What's is that? that before this, we were looking at window tablets that Oof. that. Really, Think about CES two years ago. Y yeah. When no, Bomber got up there on stage well, and started introducing what, what they now, were going to put out there in, with actually. HP. They are available. They're hard to find. Yes. Or if you go to your local Microsoft store, which if you don't have one, there's one in here in Houston. We'll go do a little video shoot there. I got a uh, hookup, by the way, for that. We got to do a video there. Okay. Um, as I was saying, though, is before that, though, the slates or what now, now they call it the slate PCs for mm -hmm. the Windows PCs. Um, before then, they're running XP. Uh, that was main. They're, they're specific markets for that. Mainly in the medical field, right? Mainly in the um, oil and gas. This actually. is still catching. This is but still catching that, on, though. Right there, mm. a lot of my people. I work in the oil and gas industry as well on the side, and a lot of people are using either the slates, like a Samsung slate, which mm -hmm. is really good. Actually, I, I got a little hands-on at the store last time I was there. But this right here, this is now everybody's go-to. I'm talking like everybody, as in everybody and your grandma. Now, this wasn't intended on being an iPad uh, review. Or, not really a review, but not a, oh, praise. Yeah, we're not, we're not sitting here praising the iPad. I think the we're iPad just, has got enough. We're just making uh, sure everybody knows that this is kind of still the big boy. Yeah, it's still the, it's still I mean, the, it is, still the it king. Is, it is the king. Now, let me, let's, let's break off that a little bit here. And let's let's talk about... Really talking about let, the fire. Let's talk about these two for real quick. Okay, let's, let's right. take the iPad aside. And let's really uh, look at these two. Now, when we look at the Kindle Fire and the Nook tablet, you know, we're looking at two, you know, screens that are exactly the same size. Uh, but, but look at, uh, you know, and, and, and for video purposes in this, uh, in this video, you're not going to really be able to tell the difference between the two. Uh, but by far and away, the Nook tablet screen, better a much better display, much, much better display. And, and actually, uh, I cannot remember the source, uh, uh, but we, uh, the, the, the article compared and contrasts these mm -hmm. three di displays and basically said that the Nook tablet display uh, was better than the iPad. It's very sharp. <clears throat> it's very, it's very, very sharp. -ish. It is. It is very. It, but, you know, more importantly, it is not reflective. That's that's why I was joking. Oh, my God. It's not reflective at all. Tell you know, why. what I told you about the joke earlier. Mary, no one, we, can, we didn't explain it, so you can tell. You lost me. Earlier about the Kindle joke. The Kindle commercial with the Kindle. And the oh, Apple. well, you That's, just said it, so why do I need to repeat it? So now we know. <laughs> there you go. Hey, it's it's one of those things. Okay, we're, 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 so we're still we're still making our chemistry work. So yeah. if you like it, comment below. Yeah. By the way, yeah. what we need to prove. We've got a, We've got a to, we got, We're coming we're from two different. Um, he's the he's the more experienced vet. Relax. I'm kind of one of the. Ambitious I've, I've been in front of a, a, a classroom environment, you know, teaching 20 students at a time for, you know, oh, coming I, on eight I've years. I've been told so. to be a teacher, so I might yeah. need to step in on tech one All right, time. so let me go ahead and give you my, my, my take on which one that I'm going to keep. So if you, saw, if you saw the last video that I posted about, which was, uh, great. which was the unboxing, thank you, which was the unboxing of the Kindle Fire, I told you which device that I was going to keep. And you know what? Looking at the two right here side by side, I'm still like, God. I really don't know which one that I want to keep. Here's my question then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know you probably know, so mm -hmm. maybe you do. You just kind of hold it to your, to your guns. But, all right, first of all, which one do you have hands on? Like I'm talking like you say, for example, the iPad. You know, we, we're reading news all the time. It's always in my yeah, hands. Right. What's always in your hands and what's your favorite so far? Like what's your favorite key things? Like your crucial, like so for example, the iPad. Not maybe the best for e-reading, some do though. What's your things? I mean, like, yeah, get that back in there. So, tell me, what do you think on these two? What, what, do, your, what, do, what do I like to do on each one of these? No, what's your most hands-on? Which one do you have in your hands? Oh, of course, the iPad. No, I'm talking about those two. Okay. So, when you're out on the go, maybe because you say it's a go thing. So, um, when you're mobile or at home, which one do you go for? Mobile. Let's talk about mobile first. Okay, okay if I'm mobile and I want to be... On the run, I don't want to necessarily carry around a larger put in your tablet. Messenger bag. Uh, put in my messenger bag, exactly. So maybe uh, Johnny can duck under the camera here in just a second and give me my bag, and I can kind of talk about that bag real quick as well. Nice it, it, if I'm going to pick one of these for on the go, it's going to be the Kindle Fire. Um, as far as as far as weight, here. they are almost identical in weight. Okay, I, I think I they're just a matter of just deals. a couple of, you know grams uh, difference. But the, as far as as far as weight, um, they're basically basically the same. But for some reason in a bag, the Kindle Fire fits better. 
a tiny um, design. It's, a, it's, it's the a design. design. It's a little it's smaller. The same it's actually in a way. Yes, it's the same. It's a, kind of it's design. almost looks like a mini iPad. It really is. You know, that's what the playbook is. Too. And so I think maybe that's playing psychologically on me. And I think um, that's the key right. There. Look how look look how much that is. That's that is a narrow design compared. Right. That's what do you what do you think, Johnny? Do you think it's a psychological thing? You think it's just like yeah? Yeah. It's black. It's got a black, you know, a, black a, border. Out, outer border. So therefore, oh, I see myself holding the iPad when I'm holding this. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. I don't, I don't get it's it personally. It, I, I think that's what it is. Well, but I cannot get over the screen. The screen on this Nook I tablet, think if they by had far a black and away. Nook tablet. Sorry to cut you off. I think that because black in general. Because mm -hmm. I mean, that's why I want a black phone. I want a black iPhone. I don't right. get the white because when you watch video, especially now reading content like books, that's a little different. Right. But when you really want to like read or watch or anything, right? That's you, where this comes right. in. Now, you if want you're the black. To the music, that's fine. But black, just the way it is about black. I mean, first of all, you're you're the film guy, right? So tell me, why would you not have a film with that type of background? It's distracting. Like the background behind us. It's distracting. There, there's the answer, and also the offset. Exactly. Because when I'm watching something on this, it looks like I'm just you want it to just blend device. in with the background. You, you just you right just here. want that you, you want that device. you want that viewing experience. You just want everything else to just disappear around it. And I think that's what's what's hurting me with the Nook tablet. Now I gotta say I've watched video on both of these. I've had them, which we may do because I have we can monetize, so don't worry about it. So we'll uh, show a little content. We won't do too much, but we'll enough. do a little musical interlude here at the end. Um, <clears throat> but when I'm watching video, I definitely prefer watching video on the Nook tablet. Okay, why is that? Um, because of the said, sharp screen, okay. because of the brightness, because of the non-reflective so uh, screen. So, but as I said but, earlier, but listen, to this here's the key. Listen, Go. if I'm comparing one to the other, yeah, I'm gonna see that the Nook tablet's gonna stand out. But if I had no idea what the what the Nook tablet screen looks like, and I got the and I got the uh, the Kindle Fire, I'm not going to know apples to oranges um, that the that the Kindle Fire is inferior. Okay, I'm not going to look at it and go, oh well, you know, I should have had that one. But when I'm looking at the with the Kindle Fire, I'm not thinking, oh, I should go be going back to the Nook because the screen looks better. It's not like that. It's not so drastic where I'm thinking, oh, I can't stand this. I can't stand this. It looks so horrible. I got to go back to the it Nook. Would be inhuman. So. Bottom line, I've decided to take the Nook tablet back, and the Kindle Fire is going to be my choice. Now, let's talk about one other thing here. What drives people to the iPad? Why do we have so many people that are going to the iPad? Is it form factor, or, no. what, or is it, what, what else is it's, there? First of all, Apple and Steve, really Steve, to be honest. Though. What is it that we can get on these devices okay. that, 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 that make first people all, keep coming back? There's like, apps. I think, I think apps for one. There's like a over a billion. Now the Android has just gotten there kind of, but not really. Uh, that's one key thing is everybody, whoa. Everybody goes to this baby here because of apps. I mean, you got every, everybody's developing for this platform, iOS. But here's the catch though. You got the little closed watch. So it's kind of closed and hard to talk about. But here's what I really like about this device and why people go to it is the simplicity. Mm -hmm. That's why. Now that is a little bit more comp. There's a little cover flow on that one. It's a little streamlined on the Fire and the Nook, both. People are going after the little cheaper price mainly. But to be honest, um, yes. Keep talking. Yes. To be honest, I think that this right here, for every, it's more more multi-purpose. Now these two, before they came into the market, they were just e-readers. You know, they were not nothing. Now they're trying to get because of what Apple does. As I said earlier, everybody comes back to Apple because Apple pretty much owns the market in a mm -hmm. sense now not in a computer space but in the mobile tablet and the phone even because like i said a lot of people want this success that apple has they have the way the right why people really want it like your mom for example it's pretty much apple with everything isn't it mm -hmm. and it's pretty much everything maybe that's because of me i don't know oh but trust me even in that i would i would i actually suggest especially for the non-tech people and we're talking about everyday people here like Chris's mom and my parents even sometimes, but more my grandparents. But this right here is just so simple. It's so easy to use. It's easy to browse. I mean, like I said, I was showing Flipboard here. We showed Flipboard earlier. Flipboard, the way that it just looks better. Right. I mean, maybe it's just me and being my no. personality and also Steve because he wants perfection. And one thing that I thought of when I got the iPad, you know what I thought of? It's the, it's the way that it's you, But you know what I thought? Go ahead. I don't want to use my MacBook anymore, you know? I got the iPad and I thought, man, why can't I just do everything on the iPad? 
But when I get one of these devices, I don't think that. When I look at the seven inch screen, I don't think, I don't think oh, I wish I could just do everything on one of these because the screen's not big enough. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the screens real quick and go and take that away. All right. Now, let's, let's compare uh, the Nook to the Kindle Fire uh, in regards to the app stores, okay? Now, by far and away, by getting the Kindle Fire, you're getting so much more. You're getting access to uh, so much more of the Android uh, marketplace. And not only that, may I mention this real quick? Go for it. Note. Go and for it. If you have an Android device, now it could be a tablet, it could be a even a um, phone, for example. Obviously, that's a common, right? To have a phone. <laughs> little little, little, so. little little side advertise break here. The Amazon App Store. Now you can get this on both tablet, obviously the Kindle, and of course with your Android phone. May it be awesome. If I think you have to have a two point or higher. But here's the catch. As Devin has mentioned to me and um many people, I told if you don't have if you have an Android phone, get the Amazon Marketplace because just like most, they give the one thing they do that sells why, you know why I tell you? One reason. They give an app a day free. Mm -hmm. And now this is a purchased app, now premium app, mostly. And we're talking, say... Today's app of the day, Fluffy Birds Deluxe. Exactly. Now, how much is that normal? Where is it for um, the show? 128 And there you go. Yesterday you was five. a $10 app there that you, you got go. for free. So, As I every said, day's different. And, and, my, and Devin, uh, our guy, our Android, one of our Android guys, he's always on there every day to download whatever. Whatever it is, he just mm -hmm. downloads it. Mm -hmm. He's impulsive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's an addictive thing now. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I warn you, if you do get it, though, you will be, every day, one day, you'll go, Choo. okay, what's on today? Yep. All right, so let me talk a little bit more about the advantages of mm -hmm. going with the Kindle Fire. Of course, like like uh, Austin just that's brought the up, key right the, the app of the day, free app of the day. doesn't premium. matter. Every single day, you're going to get a free app. You can't, you can't premium, go wrong with too. that. And look, I've just downloaded Fluffy Birds Deluxe. Let's watch uh, the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just downloaded it. And it is a premium app. So, I mean, it's an, it's an app that's going to cost you some money. Um, now... Look at the difference between, I need to go back, like the two app goes. stores. Now, when you get into shopping on the app store, uh, in the Barnes & Noble apps, app store space, it is very hard to find what you want, okay? It really is. Now, believe it or not, it is. Because uh, recently, my mom purchased a Barnes & Noble Nook, all right? And for her, this was very hard for her to understand. Just the user interface was kind of challenging. You hit the home button here on the Nook, and, and you've got a bar that pops up at the bottom to go home, to go to your library, to shop, to search, to go to your apps, uh, even to the web. Now, you know, you think, okay, well, why doesn't the, the, the home button take us back to the home screen? Well, it doesn't. You it's, have to hit it's home. Android. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not Apple. Right. That's exactly. What, that's the other thing, by the way. I want two things on that. One, to add, Apple has you trained. One of my friends uh, I met yesterday at Best Buy, uh, mobile, awesome person, has a Verizon phone. Has a Thunderbolt for work for Best Buy and also has an iPhone 4. But the key thing is she always wants to press the home button. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she thinks, go, no, no, it gives you that option. Yep. Gives you the, op this, the it's like the right yep. click. And I always go back to my mom as an example because she is the prototypical person that's out there to to buy these devices it's not us it's not us techies well you know well we will is, buy we it hold on early we, adopters. We, we we are the early adopters but we will buy these devices but we know how to get around them okay exactly. we can root the device we can do all the things that we want to do with it but what are they what's the average person going to do when they get these things in their hands hold on go ahead. and the one thing that they're going to do is they're going to look at this user interface and they're going to think how 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 am i to navigate around on this i ha i don't that's, have a clue that's the main thing is i was about to say we did your compliments let's go back to the home screen here here. Was this too? I was right. About to say that is right. what that's what I'm talking about. It's exactly. Easy to get, get around now. Apple when I'm looking at the home screen here on the Nook, okay, uh, you know you can you can move icons around. These are just books that I've been reading. There, I can move it down to the tray, um, the dock, the, the dock, whatever you want to call it. It's the dock. So anyway, these are all books that I've been reading. But you've got three home screens, okay. So on the on the Kindle uh, Fire here, you've got cover flow. Cover flow, basically, okay. So very common, uh, you know, for, for those of you that are coming from the uh, from the Apple uh, uh, from the Apple landscape, uh, is CoverFlow. All right, so you don't really have that here on the Nook other than your dock down here and at the you base. You got like a little library. Kind yeah, you've got a, like, like a little tray here where you can put your like the, the apps that you want to, exactly the your same favorites. as what you've got right here. Favorite. So, but my mom said, "How do I get around this? I don't understand this. If I hit newsstand, where is that going to take me? Well, it's going to take you to the books or the newsstand that uh, of you know, kind of like uh, Apple, the newsstand on right. There too. But to me, 
uh, for the average user, using the Nook is a little bit more uh, challenging. Definitely. Okay. For the average. For the I mean, average a lot person. Of people like it, but you have to really learn it. You have to get like you do. maybe me. You've got I have to teach my grandfather all the time on his computer because he has a problem. I need to get yeah. an iPad. I'm t- yeah. I, I wish he, he retired from the ministry. They gave him a Dell. No. I, I kind of felt like they should have given him a MacBook because then that would save my life a lot more. Yeah. But um, point is though is that with that as you're saying. This is just, that's why Apple sells because they sell to people not only to Steve's keynotes when he was around um, the past he always made you want it not even not even like that he just sold it to you where you're like when's it coming out and speaking of pretty soon we're going to be seeing an announcement for the iPad three we're, we know we're, it's we're, we, we're pretty sure we, we now, know it's an, it's not in March it's it's, not it, in March. it's coming but right now I'm perfectly happy with my iPad too. I say that right now, just like I was happy with my iPad 1 last year or at this time. iPhone 4. Listen to me. Whatever. Listen to this, though. I know for sure something's going to happen. You know, of course, it's not going to be Steve on stage this year going ITV. up and, uh, and, and talking about... Uh, We're going to get to that. About, predictions hold on, next. hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not about... It's not about Steve anymore. Steve's not going to get up there and wow us anymore, unfortunately. We've seen uh, the last of the Steve Jobs. Uh, Mr. Cook. Yep, it's going to be Mr. Cook, but he's going to have to do something magical to revolutionize what we have here with the iPad 2, okay? So, um, what's going to happen? Am I going to want an iPad 3? We're going to get to that later. Are That's we? That's another video. That's our next video. So, be on the look for that. But, because of our time, we're going to wrap it up now. Yep. Finally. Finally. Uh, yeah, because Chris is like, oh. What's your take? What's, what's your take, take on the two? To, on, the, on the two. Okay, on, on, we'll take this out of the Of mix. course, we're not going to even compare the iPad. So, <sighs> Well, to be honest... If you were to, if you were in the market for a smaller device, which of these two, seven-inch device, which one out of the Nook and the Kindle Fire would you choose? All right. I'm going to be really blunt with this. Okay. Because that's just how it works. Barnes & Nobles, I'm sorry. That's that, Oh, this is, we got the answer right on, there. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say no. Barnes & Noble. reason why is the Nook tablet, the reason why is because... For one, this is what's saving them. Um, like Borders, they had one, but it didn't do well. We talked about that a little earlier. Uh, but what I really like about it is the screen, of course. But this is, they need to stick to this. Because after the iPad, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it kills off. It pushes up forward. It makes us force us, as in like people, um, to uh, become more advanced. You know what I mean? It pushes us over the medium. Like, for example, the iPod pretty much kills CDs. Pretty much. <laughs> and ebooks, I mean, that's Kindle kind of, but more on the iPad since. But still, yeah, it really is the Kindle actually. But uh, before the iPad came out, but that's the main thing uh, I mentioned. And that's why I'm going to go with Amazon, the Kindle Fire. And the reason why is, as you see here, no go. No go. I'm sorry. Amazon is just Amazon. Uh, first of all, the cover flow. I like it. It's great. This is really is the iPod, uh, uh, iPod, iPad alternative. You know what I mean? And the best part is Prime. If you are an Amazon guy or girl, lady, customer in general, you know about Amazon. Every, Amazon is everything. Great prices. Started out as a bookstore, obviously. Yep. Now I can get Amazon Prime for, what is it, $79 a year? Uh, 75 I think. Okay. About that. The point is, yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, you get, I got a student one. I get it for free. Yeah, true. Sure. But anyways, point is though is that this right here alone, it's better than Netflix sometimes because you get all these stuff, thousands of videos. I'm talking about it's being better, but you also get to rent movies like on Android. But what I really like is... Let's talk about that one. One I know you're, you're wrapping up your review Go here. Ahead. But if you were to, to watch video on your, uh, on your Nook tablet, you only have Netflix Hulu or Hulu Plus. That's it. That's it. If you want anything else on here, it's you have to sideload it yourself with the 32 gig SD card or you know whatever uh, micro SD card you use. But another added advantage of the Kindle Fire, what is it? it you is, can rent movies. You can rent movies and your music. Prime. Well, they have music on that one too. Well, but, but you have to is, you have to sideload it. There is no store. Really. There is no store but for you the know note. What the best part You have about Pandora. This too is, that's it. You know what the best part about this too is. Hmm. Amazon has everything for one. As we mentioned, it started out in the bookstore. Everybody used to get the full on books, and Amazon's always great. But here's the key: they also have the digital locker. Yep. Last year, yep. they they this is 2012, so last year 2011, they came out with the locker. You buy one album, ninety nine cents, whatever it is. Shop the music store. The well, point is, when you're on the music store here, as you can see, you, one album which gets you five gigs free. Right. 
You get five gigs free just for one album. Yep. One album. That's and, and on, on a side note, if you buy your music from Amazon, um, if you buy your music on Amazon, you can still live in the in the Mac world. You can still live on your iPad. You the, the music can coexist. You can set it up for anything that you buy on the Amazon Music Store can then be uh, automatically added to iTunes Match if if that's the way that you're you're going with your music on your uh, on your on your iPad or iPhone. So you can live both in the Amazon world and Apple space. They're they're, they're coexist yes. friendly, and very, that's very. why I said this is the alternative. This is your pocket on the go. Yes. Now I mean of course traveling. That's, Audible. That's, Audible. Audible app. You got everything on this thing. Amazon. It, and it kind of has an Apple feel when you do this. It reminds me of the iBooks. The uh -huh. iBooks looks. If you want to bring that up for me. Uh, it has that shelf. It's just a shelf. I think that's a little, like I said, Apple-y. Show me. Show me. There, oh, there you go. Got the uh, shelf. That's oh, why we have the over here. here. Got the shelf here, as you can see. Pretty, pretty identical. Near identical. Just different coloring. As you can see. I just, I really like this Kindle Fire. If you are looking in the market for a multimedia device, multimedia, keyword, because that's what the Fire is for. That's what their Amazons finally went into the color. They always had that, what, gray? Is it called the gray e pink ink pen? That's what they call the format on the Kindle? It's like the Earl Gray? Sure. No, it's, well, anyways, the, the, the e ink. Yeah, uh, the, okay. The, the black and white right. grayscale. E ink, uh, yeah. On, yeah on I the know e that's where yeah. you're going. Okay. Yeah. With the Kindle, the original Kindles, that's what they sell for. And I'll tell you what, this still lives oh up God. to the heritage. This is the next step. This is the evolution. This is just the same as an iPad had done. But And I, I really do say, if you are in the market, this is the alternative. If you want to spend 250 right? 250 199 for the Kindle Fire. I apologize. 250 for the Nook. And of course, with the Apple, you know, with the iPad too, especially... You know, this goes from five four hundred five hundred dollars American to about what eight mm -hmm. for three G. This is a three G iPad which you have off. Which anyways, but you got you know the this is right here. This is the alternative. I I don't look as a killer. It's not supposed to be a killer. You trying people, to eat my Kindle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's it's a nice ice cream sandwich. I wish you no, got not it. Not quite. <laughs> but uh, anyways, you get my point, guys, and that's basically what i'm trying to say i'm wrapping this up and i'm saying definitely in austin's way in my own way and how he you guys should know his 10 minute wrap up <laughs> that's the end thank you all right so fire. My, fire. my 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 pick my pick <clears throat> and let's put these two here all right you ready mm -hmm. my pick eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger bites no i'm just kidding uh my my pick ultimately is as well oh, the, so the, the 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 kindle fire i i i do agree and uh, reluctant, and I say reluctantly, it, it is a toss up for me. Um, but if you are about content, if you do live in the Amazon space. Or in the digital <clears throat> locker, the digital yes. world that Apple's forced us to do. Yes. It, and if, you know, uh, eight gigs is not a problem for you and you don't have to worry about trying to sideload a ton of video, uh, then Amazon, the Amazon Kindle Fire is the way to go. Now, now keep in mind, you know, just because you don't have a lot of space on here doesn't mean that that you're locked out. Okay, you've got the cloud. You have the ability to download any yeah, book it. that you've ever cloud purchased locker. before in the past right here. Okay, it's there. You got a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, go ahead and download whatever movie it is that you want to watch that you've purchased or rented, and you got it for that plane trip. Okay. One thing I do <clears> miss <throat> is that they they don't have a three G Kindle yet. Yeah, but Fire. you know, yeah, the Kindle Fire. I mean, it's the Kindle is free three G. By the way, I'm going to tell you something here. Okay, we'll this is a time. this is a 64 gig, three uh, G iPad two. Okay, I went all out and got you know got the best one that you could get at the time. Eight hundred something. But this little black this little black bar up here indicates yeah. that it's a three G. Yep. I've only activated it for one month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, I I own a MiFi four uh, G MiFi, and if I want to get on the internet, I just simply boot up my MiFi and I'm, I'm set to go. Um, but I don't now see the need for a 3G. I really don't. You know, So many of us are living with so many different devices and, and to have internet only locked into this one device, paying $30 or more a month for the one ac for access to the internet for this one device just doesn't make sense to me. But you know what the main thing is? It, what I always tell people, especially when it comes to tablets and e-readers, nowadays, if, especially if you live in a city, if you live in a very populated area, like say even that, a little small town, like you know, but it, there's Wi-Fi everywhere, especially in the major uh, metropolitan areas. <clears throat> pretty much, you are guaranteed like a free Wi-Fi, say at Starbucks. 
Yep. Wow, I misspelled that one. Anyways, at Starbucks, at any other place, you can get free Wi-Fi. Majority of the time. Even McDonald's now. Yep. Everybody's favorite. Yep. Fast food place, you can get it. But now, here's one note before we wrap up. Now, before we do is, the third wrap up. Yes. Well, no, this is the final. Okay. My final note before we, because he, you didn't mention it earlier. Now, of course, you can't count the I iPad. I think he's wrapping up because he's kind of going off camera a little bit. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. But uh, basically what I was saying was the thing is we can't pick the iPad. Uh, honestly, mm. I choose the iPad because of... But we're the, not doing that. We're reviewing one right. seven inch to the other. But yeah. here, the main reason is you can get every bookstore on this. You can get the Nook. You get the Fire. You get the Kindle apps. You get the Kindle app. You got even got the Google. And you, I think you even get this, the Sony one, don't you? Mm -hmm. okay. You get them all. And that's the key. That's why people choose iPad because you're getting everything. As you can see here, you can see his. Um, you can see he has his Kindle library, probably the same on there. Am I right? Yep. It's it's what Whisper Sync they call it. Yep. And it works on any your phone. That's why, to be honest, Amazon is the winner. But App, Apple wins in the end of it because I think that's has every bookstore and that's the key. But I think Fire will win. If they wins. It's been selling well. Uh, the tablet's been out the, about the same time, a little about the same time. The, the Nook tablet. Nook tab. The Nook. The Nook Color came out last year. Uh, we're in 2012. Nook Color came out in uh, uh, late 2010. Uh, so the Nook Color has been on the scene for a little bit longer than obviously the Kindle Fire. Kindle Fire just came out in uh, well, November the of 2000. Well, had came out as well. Well, yeah, it came out. It came well, out the right same week. The, yeah, yeah same but I'm week. saying that 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 Barnes and Noble has been in the market uh, oh, yeah. with with, 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 with a tablet device, even though it wasn't a tablet and when it first came out. And people it, and it worked Android. It and, works and Android. that's exactly I think why Barnes and Noble decided to go that route, you know, because uh, they can it, you can root. They could. So that's the end of our video. I'm awesome. Yep. Texas Tech View. And we got Chris. you can find Austin on Texas Tech Review, yeah. so go to his channel and, and we'll uh, see you on there and, 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 and subscribe. And of course, I'm at Forley Photo, ForleyPhoto.net for all your photography needs. And we're going to be working together here in the future in, in the woodlands on some uh, some uh, yeah, yeah, interesting some photo opportunities. Here. We're going to go to Houston. Get to, we're going to, we're live out here in Houston, so we're going to do some speed testing. Can't yep. wait for that one. Can you yep. wait for that one? No, it's going to be cool. We're going to do a lot so, of projects. So ForleyPhoto.net for all your photo needs, weddings. Uh, uh, events, portraits, the whole works. Uh, I teach at Lone Star College, North Harris, digital media, photography, uh, a lot of different, a lot of different subjects, yes. a lot going on. So, um, and best uh, of all, though, go Texans! Sporting our Texans gear right here. So you're going to see this video. I got, I got my red. And blue. Uh, so hopefully by the time, if you're watching this after the second round. Uh, hopefully then, we win against yeah, the Ravens. Exact, should, exactly. Exactly. So. We do sports too on TTR. <clears throat> Texas Tech Review. We do sports, gaming, and best of all, tech review, of course. That's, yep. And so, as you can hear from our name. So, if you want more reviews, we're gonna have more videos. I think uh, we're gonna have both on both channels. So definitely check us out. Cross promote. We've got everything. Got all Tra kinds of gadgets technology. here. Ah. My goodness gracious, they're just coming out of the woodwork here. We'll have more gadgets. They're multiplying. Oh, oh, yes. oh. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And, and let's uh, give Johnny a hand. Yeah, Johnny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we got to forget. Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot. We got our own little... Let's see Johnny on the Come spot. On, Johnny Come on, on Johnny. Spot. Johnny on the spot, right there. There's Johnny. There thanks, he is. thanks for Johnny's assistance. Anyway, uh, subscribe above or below. Salute. Wherever the subscribe button is these days, it's moving around. It's new uh, YouTube. Give us a too. comment too. You know, comment below. Tell us what you own. Do you own a Kindle Fire? Do you own a Nook tablet? Do you, do you own, own an iPad? iPad? Which and one do you prefer? Have you played with one of these devices? I mean, uh, what do you not you like about our convert? review? Um, and are we going a little too long? Is this too long for you? So give us a. Of course. And how we work, how we interact. Yeah. Do we, do we work good together? This is a I don't know. Because we, we may not do this again. I don't know. I know, right? You keep jumping on my words over here, then I'm going to have to uh, start gonna, doing it on my own. I'm going to have to put Johnny in this spot right here. We should put Johnny on the spot. When Johnny's going to be in this spot if you don't stop oh. you know, jumping all over me. Well, we're going to have to put him on anyways. Yeah, we are. So thank you. Guys. Johnny's going to come back maybe and give us a, an idea of what he yeah. wants. You so. Know, so anyway. Thanks for watching, and uh, again, subscribe and uh, comment below. On and both we'll, channels. On both channels, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Yay, it's over. <laughs> 12 minutes to the end. <laughs>